boost leak tester today. This is an interesting little device that lets you test the general health of your intake system. I put this together years ago out of a couple of parts and put a little FAQ online about how to do this. And uh, basically what it is is it's two tire valve stems crammed through the, a two inch PCV cap with a two inch pipe coupling, a little bit of fuel line, a couple of hose clamps, some NPT fittings, the thread into what happens to be a quarter inch NPT flange. When you buy these little tire gauge things, if you unscrew the bottom of it off, what you find is uh, NPT threads on the base. You take the gauge and a couple of quarter inch NPT couplings, and these I picked up at an auto parts store. Quarter inch fuel coupling, a quarter inch to quarter inch coupling, some fuel hose, and some clamp style tire valve stems. Now all of this together, when you uh, add up what I spent on it, came to about 20 bucks for the stuff that I got at the auto parts store. And uh, the cap, coupling, hose clamps were $7.67. I have a couple of tools that I like to use in order to pull this off. On the first one that I built, I sanded the cap flat. I used a power sander and I just sanded that flat so it would have a good flat mating surface. But uh, as you can see, that could be a lot of work. Since these pieces are about, about three quarters of an inch, because it's three quarters of an inch wide, I like to take a three quarter inch paddle bit that happens to be roughly the same dimensions there as the top of that piece. It's a good idea to drill from the inside. And the reason why, just to mark the hole, is because you want to have enough room to be able to get the nuts and bolts and stuff down on top of these once you get them through. The side walls can kind of interfere with that. If you drill from this side and don't have enough clearance to turn the bolt down, it doesn't do you any good. You just ruin the gap. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drill the pilot holes and uh, show you what it takes to make one of these things. We've got here two little tiny holes that started to poke up through it. What we do is we just drill and chase those the opposite way. Cut two flat surfaces for us once we're down flush. about right. There. 0.453 is 29 64 That's the size you want to use. This clamp style valve stem is slightly smaller. And these you just drill all the way through with the holes you created as pilots. One down. Two down. You'll see why we drilled only slightly into the cap. There's plenty of thickness there, but we just wanted a smooth surface. Take your edges off and clean them up. And then, you take this valve stem apart, and it has a rubber gasket on it, and each one of these fits down inside of that hole. On one of the valve stems, you see the Schrader valve that's down inside of that? You can do this with just needle nose pliers if you're careful. Pull the Schrader valve out of one of them. Now we just take the little metal washer that's included. 
Put that down on top of that little three quarter inch hole that we created. Look how good of a fit that is. It fits down snug in there. And you just take that nut, snap it down on there. We'll tighten that up in a second. On the other side, you want to leave the Schrader valve in place. Insert that through the cap. Clamp that piece down. All right. It looks like a 9 16 It is. Tighten each one down until it compresses the gasket. And there you have it. That's the most complicated part of the job. I see that you have one of them with the Schrader valve and one without. You take this quarter inch fuel line and cram it down on here. You want to put the clamp on at the small part because you notice that flange is two different diameters. Clamp that down good and tight so that it doesn't budge. Now the one thing that's kind of unique about the pressure tester I build, I put the gauge on it so that you can watch the pressure and how it's behaving in your intake. When you stop applying pressure, how fast this needle drops is a good indicator of how healthy the system is. Once this starts to become important is where you get to the fine tuning portion of cleaning up the intake. Take the quarter inch NPT coupler. This is just a pretty standard part. You can get this at the auto parts store. But we want to use Teflon tape on that because we want to make sure that makes an airtight seal. And the threads aren't exactly perfect for this. And now we just wrap this. I like to give it about four or five winds on this part because it doesn't have the compression fittings on the end that it really should have for this duty. I said duty. All right, let me take the compression fitting, throw it down on here. And it also looks like a 9 16 oh, yeah. Wow, that is. Hunk it down good and tight. Try not to strip it, flare it. All right, now once you got that on, you attach quarter inch fuel line fitting. This also happens to fit right over that pin, which is convenient. Teflon. Seven sixteenths. And there you have it. You now have a gauge that you can mount to this hose, hose clamp, that lets you see how much pressure you have in the intake. And I find it handy to put a long hose on it so that you can pull the gauge out of the engine bay away from the turbo and see it while you're working. It just makes it kind of handy. And now the only thing left to do is attach these two pieces together. When you're working with compressed air, it can create a whole lot of force. It can launch this tool apart and you can be injured by flying pieces. So what I like to do whenever possible is to use hairspray on this coupler or another little trick, some good old general purpose trim adhesive. And you just spray this around here. And while it's wet, it makes it easier to slip this thing on. But when it dries, it dries on there permanent. Now all we have to do is clamp it down. Make sure your clamp's lined up. Get it right the first time. Once it's down at the right pressure, you'll know it. And there you have it. Do-it-yourself boost leak tester. Now all you have to do is pop that on the car over the turbo flange, blow compressed air through this port, and you can test the health on your intake and find all your leaks. Lost air is lost horsepower. Now as big as this woman was, she had a rather small foot.